President-elect Joe Biden held a virtual roundtable today with frontline health care workers battling coronavirus. As CBS 17's Morgan Wright reports from D.C., the roundtable comes as lawmakers still have yet to compromise on another COVID relief package. There's a whole lot of things that are just we just don't have available to us which unless it's made available soon, we're going to be behind. As COVID cases surge across the nation, President-elect Joe Biden told some of the nation's frontline health care workers they will be his administration's top priority. It's not enough to praise you. We have to protect you. We have to pay you. Biden charged Republicans are delaying more relief to help those on the front lines. The reason why my friends on the other side have not stepped up to do something is because of their fear of retribution from the president. And hopefully when he's gone, they'll be more willing to do what they know should be done. The virtual meeting comes as President Trump withholds cooperation toward a transition of power, which could ensure a seamless response to the pandemic. It's outrageous that the Trump administration has refused to provide the president-elect with high-level intelligence briefings or brief the tra transition on the vaccine distribution plan. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer says getting the virus under control is the only way to get our country back to normal. The country wants us to come together and get something done. Senate Democrats and Republicans are still deadlocked over how much relief is needed. I'm open to a targeted bill roughly of the amount that we recommended a half a trillion dollars. But Biden says he's optimistic he can secure more relief. Reporting in Washington, I'm Morgan Wright.